while I was over in Italy, uh, I met uh, Gaidano Sorrentino. He came over here with his white Fender I bought for him. Played a little music around the city here. And he uh, was going to play with you guys for months and make and got it all together and then he got hooked up with this redhead Dino's the uh, oldest kid of quite a bunch of, I think, nine or ten kids. And his mother, my mother, lived next door in this thing they call Capacero. It's a house of rock, and there'd be four or five families, but they live there as a family. They'd be different families, but very close. Well, Guy Dino's mother and my mother were real good friends, you know. Saved each other's life more than once. Old guy Donald's a gaunt, hollow eyed fellow that went over to London and played for a while. Got on heroin and fell off real hard and had to get rid of his last ball and then his vendor and then had to try to get home to Italy again. Tell me one time we were trying to write a song and he had his guitar out. And I asked him to play a, what he heard when he, when he saw his father get gunned down right before him. His eyes there in front of the show. The guy down on his father was a guitar player and a kind of a local leader. And he always stood up for the folks and he was trying to get them more wages for somebody driving a bus. And they shot him. Right in front of his children and his wife. Well, uh, I wrote this little story about Guy down on this poem, and he got one. I really heard some good guitar licks that were pretty haunting off the white fender he had going out off in the streets. It's called Echo. I took a walk down a long Ponticelli side street with Guy Dino Sorrentino today. It was a beautiful fall day. The sun's rays were sharp and bright. The shadows long and cool. The sun was reflecting off the ancient buildings in the street and it softened this world for a moment. It was warm and quiet. The street beautiful. Before I could say anything, Guy Dino said, Bello Giornata, John. Beautiful day. And it was. As we were walking, Guy Dino showed me where his father was gunned down in Ponticelli eight years ago. He said his little brother and him were there and seen the bullet go into his father's head. His father was killed for trying to organize the poor laborers and the union. The local bosses didn't want it. Dino said because his father wasn't at work when he died, there was no pension. His mother was left with nine kids. I ride the winds to distant shores and I sing the song.